How are things rolling, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another The Lost and Damned video walkthrough. It's getting down to the bitter end, actually. This is the second to final mission of The Lost and Damned. And Ray Bocchio, um is suspicious of Johnny and the fact that the money for the uh, diamonds that were supposed to be sold in collector's item, well, he doesn't trust Johnny and is blaming him for some situations. And, well, this is a pretty grim opening for a video, but this game is, like the game GTA 4, very grim in and of itself. Now, with this video, you're going to need armament, and you're going to need some planning for this mission, because um, Johnny is going to have to fight off assassins. And they are coming at Johnny from multiple ways. And unless you set yourself up for controlling the uh, battlefield, you're going to die. So I'm going to explain in this video and what to do. This mission is called Was It Worth It? And in a sense, it's about was betraying Ray Bocchio worth what is going to happen at this point. As I stated before, you're going to need to do some planning. Right now, Johnny is at the safe house, not too far from the safe house. And on the way to, way back to the safe house, is a point that I've just set. And this area is where you will get to and set up to fight the assassins being sent after Johnny. Now, the reason is this place has, um, how shall I say, very difficult access for the assassins. And I'm going to show you why. Once Johnny gets over this wall, there is this narrow alley here, and there are two ways in. This way, where the assassins will probably come at you because it's easy to come at Johnny from this area, and you have plenty of cover and plenty of firepower to take them down. Or there is this area where they will try and come. And again, this alley is where you're going to control the access. Now, the assassins are going to be trying to come at Johnny from either over the walls here, and they will come in cars and dozens of them, and they will attack. So you need that area I just showed you on the map to control the enemy's access to Johnny. Because there's no way he will be able to fight them out in the open. They're armed with machine guns and other things that will do a lot of damage quickly. And this area is on its way from Ray Bocchio's. And by the time Johnny gets to that area, well, Ashley's going to call him and inform him that Ray has sent assassins at Johnny. Now, again, you got to get to that area. And use the carbine rifle, the automatic shotgun, the submachine gun, and just take down the assassins. You may even have to hunt some of them down, but one-on-one, -on -one, they are far more easy to kill than if they're coming at you by the dozens. And it's quite a battle, and if you try and take them out in the open or try and attack their vehicles, Johnny is dead. This is the best way to handle this mission. A lot of firepower, 
and control where the enemy is coming from. So let's get on with this mission. Was it worth it? Well, look who it is. Hey. How you doing, tough guy? What's your problem? I told you not to get too fucking clever. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Start walking. Downstairs. Okay, I'm going. That's right. <laughs> Gentlemen, what the fuck is going on here? Fucking hell! Stop that shit, asshole! Anything yet? Nah. Burn him again. <laughs> Where's my fucking stuff? You see, genius over here would rather get creme brulee before he dies. Hopefully you ain't so stupid. Where's my stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you! <sighs> what are you, fucking death? <sighs> Where's my fucking stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Who do you think you're bullshitting? A bullshitter? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have to cut that shit out, Ray. It's not fucking cool. I fucked Ashley, my friend, and now I'm gonna fuck you. Where's my fucking stuff? Fuck off, Ray. Go ahead. Drop the fucking gun, goon. No! I'll cut him. No. I can get the, I get the, back the fuck up. Back up! Go ahead. Go ahead! Go ahead, run like a couple of girls! Billy was right about both of you! Backstabbing fools. God, I got guys in every corner! Where are you gonna go? I'll see you later! I gotta go talk to Ashley. I'm gonna go get the fucking brothers. We gotta go now! Okay. Johnny is going to go and try and save Ashley. Now, on his way to save Ashley, he will get a phone call. And I'm going to fast forward to that point. Hot damn, baby girl. Your friend Ray ain't so friendly. Johnny Kate, you're all right. I'm sorry, please. I think Ray's of course he is, baby. Thanks for the heads up. Meet me outside the house, okay? I'll be there if I'm still walking. I'll wait, baby. This is the place I showed you at the start of the video um, about preparing. Now, the assassins are going to come at you from all directions, and if you try and take them down, then... Whoa, okay, this is interesting. Uh, switch to the shotgun, and if this happens, just blast away with the automatic shotgun and blow the hell up out of that car. That will provide you some protection from assassins attacking from behind, but don't leave the alleyway. Let the assassins come to you. And I'm going to let this play out because it's just a really cool firefight. Pay attention to the map and your lo location. The next group of assassins are now up on the hill behind the wall. You do not, do not chase after them. Just let them come to you. And it may be a little bit of patience, but also pay attention to what is going on behind you or possibly behind you if a red blip appears and they're coming up a certain alleyway. These assassins are going to start coming out and trying to attack you, but stay in cover. It's the only way Johnny is going to be able to succeed. In fact, you might want to run around the alley here and try and draw the assassins out like I'm doing now and shoot at them. They won't get out of their car unless they have a reason to. 
They want you to come to them. And in this case, you want them to come to you. You may have to draw them out. And it looks like some of them are coming from behind, possibly. Um, okay, I'll worry about that. But these guys, they're coming around the block to attack Johnny from behind. And you can kind of see on the circle map in the lower left, they've gotten back in their cars and they're coming this way to attack Johnny. So use the high ground to your advantage. before you got here. You think you're tough guys? Come on! Okay, there's something interesting. Uh, the two red blips over in the corner, you might want to have to use Johnny to kind of lure the assassins out and get them to come Johnny's way. I don't think this alley, they're going to jump down that area. This is an alley, and they're actually up on the another level. The cars are parked behind the wall, but they're not getting out. So you may have to put Johnny a little bit in danger, but yep, okay, there's a car that is broken off. And walk down this alley. They think you're probably putting yourself out in the open. No, run back and get yourself in position for the next group of assassins that are going to come at Johnny. And again, you may have to walk a little further down the alley in order to get them to react because you want to draw them into your kill zone which you've established, and so far it's worked. Johnny has not taken any hits. So come down here. Yep, they've activated. They're driving. Run back up and prepare to fight back. Keep this boring and stay put. Slime ball. Johnny has taken a little damage, but the other car is not moving. And let's see if I can do the lure them out method and actually see what's happening. There's some money down there. I'm going to take the danger. They're moving, but yeah. They're not coming this way. They're coming against, yeah. Uh, Johnny's going to have to now go hunt them down. I'll fast forward a little bit because walking there is a little bit of time and you're going to have to run around this entire building. Okay, this is where you'll need to be careful. The bad guys have not moved from their position, so crouch and creep in using the trucks, the boxes, the wood as cover. And you're going to have to creep up on these guys and get your, yourself into a defensive position. They haven't moved, so I'm going to try and take over 
run over to these boxes or pieces of wood or lumber and I can see the bad guys. They're coming out. Take them down. There you go. And then I think a rocket launcher might be necessary here. Keep them off my ass! This'll stop you from talking! Well, now you gotta go back and meet Ashley. As you can see, my method of preparing ahead and finding a place to fight worked well. Johnny only took some minimum damage. If you fought them out in the open, you saw they had machine guns and other weapons and they came in waves of six and that's a half a dozen guys attacking Johnny from all directions. Yeah, you're not going to be able to take them down. If you're trying to hunt them down and shoot them while they're in their cars, that's not going to work either. The pipe bombs, yeah, they might work well, but the reality is you're better off having found a location where the enemy has to come in and attack you and they can't attack you en masse. Now, I'm just going to get some body armor and then go meet Ashley and find out what's happening. It's not that there could be any danger, but I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't know what's going to happen. And better to have full body armor, and be prepared. You got enough firepower still. So let's go meet Ashley and find out what's going on here. I'm going to talk a little more just because I don't want to get clipped for the music. And here we go to meet Ashley. What's going on? I'm sorry. Which bit? For everything. He, he told me everything. Me and Ray ain't friends no more. Yeah, me and Ray neither, sugar. Johnny, I got some bad news. Jim, he ain't... Oh, no. Oh, man, not Jim. <sighs> Fuck this. Angus is crippled and Billy gone insane. Now Jim's dead. I guess that's what they call payback. You got me. I don't got you. Crystal got a guy, you, babe. Johnny, I'm gonna quit. Yeah, and I'm an idiot believing in your bullshit all this time. It ain't your fault. It's my fault I'm a fucking moron. I'm gonna go to rehab, straighten myself out. Anyhow, he, he told me you wouldn't get hurt. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Yeah? Well, why shouldn't I kill you? Why bother? I'd be better off dead. But Johnny, Ray ain't the problem. What are you talking about? Are you telling me... That a backstabbing mob guy who wants to kill me ain't the problem? It's Billy. Ugh. See, it's Billy. Ray, it turns out that Billy was trying to poison him against you, and now apparently Billy's going states. He's gonna he's gonna blame you. I'm sorry. Well, what now? You gotta get someone to help you. Maybe that congressman. Maybe. We'll see. Go on and get out of here. I love you, Johnny K. You're speaking a foreign language to me now, lady. Now get the fuck out of here. There you have it. Johnny's life is in turmoil. And, well, things could go worse. And this is the next to the last mission. I can tell you. The last mission is a doozy. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. I thank all those people who are watching these videos. 
and subscribing. It helps me toward my goal to monetize this channel, sort of. As always, thanks for stopping by.